getting started. Um, I'll have this uploaded and sent to you probably around tomorrow morning. That works for okay. you. Um, yeah, what, what, good. what got you interested in coaching? Um, okay, well, to be honest, 30, 30% of it's just a way to support you. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate I that, mate. I, I really like what you're doing. Uh, actually, not to, not to go too much into it, but, um, I'm doing a master's in educational studies. I've taught middle school math. Like I'm, you know, it's like, so, uh, you know, I, I think temperamentally we're different, but some of our experiences have been similar. So I, I sure. appreciate some of the stuff you put up like today's video of just like, um, talking about like quitting and stuff like that. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I find it really cool that there's even people doing this for, uh, different communities. So I just thought it was cool. So. Um, obviously I'm here to get my money's worth as well, but you know, <laughs> okay. Well, um, I appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, I, I yeah. obviously enjoy what I'm doing. Um, but, uh, I, I that's, it's very kind of you to say that. So thank you. Uh, yeah. I, well, let's, uh, let's take a look here. So you're, you are a flex God. It looks like, well, I would, I just find that more fun. So sure. Welcome the, to the club. The main FPS game that I've played is actually Paladins. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Yep, heard of it. Um, yeah, so my seventh anniversary with that game is next month. Um, and, <laughs> I would say congratulations, is... but now I feel kind of weird. Like, yeah, no, it is sort of, it's, sort of, it's sort of lame, let's be honest with ourselves. Um, <laughs> uh, but in that game, there's no roll lock, right? So it's yeah. like, there's only one rank, right? How it, just in like OW used to be. So um, to me, it was always really important. I mean, there's six billion characters in that cast. So it's yeah. like... Um, I've just found that more fun. It's it's hard for me to play the same three heroes for mm -hmm. for a week straight. So you know that's makes how it sense. Is. Makes sense. Makes sense. And that sort of a lack of focus transitions. I mean, how many heroes are there in like League of Legends? It's like two hundred oh, something like that. Yeah, I I don't know, man. I, don't I know. Okay. Yeah. Well, regardless. All right. So uh, anything additional? I'd like to start Overwatch when Overwatch Two came out. Okay. What what got you started with Overwatch then? Um. So it's sort of two things. Uh, part of it's just because Paladins wasn't really putting out interesting things for me at the moment. Mm -hmm. Two, Overwatch 2, free-to-play, like, yeah. uh, influx of new players, blah, blah, blah. Like, I, I thought I'd hop on the bandwagon just like everyone else was. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, honestly, I've actually been following OWL for a long time. I, I like watching, like, hero shooters as an eSport. I think it's just right. the best eSport out there, personally. Yeah. Um, and I know you said this before, but it's like, once you experience team play, it's like sort of hard to go back. I, yeah. uh, I, I played in what is, I guess, tier three in Paladins for a bit. Not uh -huh. that, that that's any achievement, but I mean, it's, it's like it's, it's top 0 0.5% or whatever. Yeah. But like that experience alone is, has like really, uh, that's like made me stick with that game for so long. And so, uh, once Overwatch 2 came out, I was like, you know what, I might, might as well try it out. Um, and I've, I've stuck around. Game's pretty fun. Sick, so. sick, sick. Well, we're glad to have you. So, uh, I watched Al and that I can do struggle sometimes with being sure exactly what the heroes want to do in the micro. Um, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Obviously this form is about a month old. So what, what needs to be yeah. changed is taller. What do you hope to get out of the session? Some fun things to work on. I honestly like thinking about the game more than playing it at times. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah. yeah, for me, it's more just like, I mean, to be, to be completely honest here, I'm not one of those people who's coming in and he's like, Hey, I need you to help me get the the gm1 or whatever right, like that right. obviously that'd be cool to live up to my potential but there's a certain degree to which it's like i based off of my work schedule my workload the number of things i'm doing like it, it's not realistic for me to like play three hours a day for every day and nor is that the most fun thing for me so it's just like if there's things that are like you know if there's things that i'm not seeing because i don't know what i'm missing or it's just like small things that i can just remember and improve on every day that's that's good enough for me makes so. sense makes sense yeah i mean i i enjoy the learning as well like something about just like kind of understanding the game as a whole is like very satisfying even though i don't oh yeah really much at all either yeah absolutely um, like i don't common ranked at all but like the idea of like if i was the igl for a team what would i talk about here right, that, that's right. very interesting to me well are, are yeah. you interested in getting into like the actual competitive scene in overwatch like even at like the diamond level that you're at now i am I don't currently have the time commitment. I don't have the Makes time sense. schedule for that. Uh, so it'll be, I'd have to, I'm trying to finish up this master's program. I'm trying to finish up another master's program. And ah, yeah, ah. so like once I'm stable, like two, three years down the road, hopefully, Makes then I mean, sense. maybe, but at that point, I'm like a 29 year old diamond gamer. You know true, what I mean? So true, true. Makes <laughs> yeah. sense. Well, I will say that like there are a lot of teams out there around that SR that only scrim once or twice a week. So if that's ever something yeah. that you would want to try, it's not like mm -hmm. it's going to be a huge time commitment. You could just yeah, take it straight sure. out of your rank time. But maybe, maybe it's something worth experimenting with. I don't know. Um, okay. 
it's not going to be like a daily thing for from teams of that sr yeah yeah, yeah um, that's for sure okay short-term and long-term goals mostly just having it for fun dining the micro goal if you like keep us uh short-term masters long-term maybe gm okay hero pull yeah, and for- ranked we kind of go uh, ahead go ahead no for me it's more about like consistency like i know some people like just want to peak a certain thing like I last season I hit Masters three, went all the way down to Diamond three, and then clawed my way up to Diamond one to end the season. So it's right. just like I I like to like stay consistently Masters and then slowly climb my way up, as opposed to like oh I hit GM and I just give up forever. Right, like that. right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, hero pool. We talked a little bit about this already. You're just kind of you're just kind of like dancing around, you know, like picking from here to there. Um, yeah, I do try to you know I do try to like if I'm picking a role. I do try to stick to like two, three things. Yes. But because I'm switching roles like every week, you know, or every couple of days, it's it's not that set. Yeah, I, I I think I think we can work with that. Like I think like it for, it's always about like kind of harnessing you know the, the the cult, you know, like not like letting the wildness of the animal go through, but then like directing it in a more productive manner, you know, yeah. without breaking the horse. So for you, it's like you know you don't want to go one trick. I one play hero. I only do this. It's like for you, it's like bouncing around from role to role to role. But then within yeah. that role, being a little bit more disciplined. I think that's totally fine. That's what I did um, when I hit Masters in all roles a little bit ago. Um, that's yeah. what I still do. If I were to ever try to play competitively again, I'd probably yeah. just be like briefly one trick a hero and then move on and then briefly one yeah, trick yeah, yeah. and move on. I think that's, that's exactly totally how I fine. feel. Yeah, makes okay, sense. Cool. Makes sense. Uh, the key thing for me is going to be like, how much are you playing per day on average? Yeah, so uh, this obviously is ups and downs depending on what I'm doing with all my programs and stuff. Right now, um, I, I I I play like three times a week, but those play periods are pretty long. So it's like I can get on weekdays like twice, and that's like three to four hours. And then mm-hmm. on weekends, I can get like my long, you know, six seven hour type of thing. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And then how much mm-hmm. of this is like recreational, playing with friends, playing by yourself, solo queue, Ooh. quick play? So that, that de- I mean, honestly, that depends on my friends. <laughs> it depends right. if they're on because we're all working adults. You know what right. I mean? Right. Um. I'd say on if my week is an average of three to four times I play, uh, one or two of those times is playing with friends, and and then the other two times are solo queue. Yeah, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Okay. Hmm. Because obviously, you know, spreading yourself in terms of like three set grind set session isn't the most optimal thing you can be doing yeah. for improving. But mm-hmm. if that's kind of like where you're at right now, then maybe that's yeah. just where we have to sit. Like, I, I mean, don't... I'm... Go ahead. Uh, no, I, I, I've watched enough of your vods to be pretty realistic about the fact that it's like, I, don't, I'm not, I'm not shooting all the way up to GM just you know, with my current schedule, and I, I don't plan to. It's like I just want to yeah. be more consistent with the schedule I've got and sure, sure. attune to real life as well. Sure, you know? sure, so. sure, makes sense. So I don't think you need a lot of feedback in terms of scheduling. You know what you, you're doing right now. You know what you would want to aim for if you had the time for it. GGs, yeah. you know. Yeah, I okay. mean, if in the future things change and. uh my schedule becomes a little more free and I get to play more, then I'll schedule another session. We can talk about it then. You know what sure. I mean? It's like, <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. of course. And then piggybacking off that, what do you feel is holding you back for improving? Consistency, sleep, play yeah, time. <laughs> I know. I, yeah. But it's like, you got to be realistic with yourself. Like, there's a certain yeah, degree to which it's like, there's a certain degree to which it's just like, yeah, of course, if I only play three times a week yeah. and, and like two of those days, I get five hours of sleep. Yeah, of course, I'm not improving the way I'd like to. Right, right, right. Um, right. But beyond that, I think I, the other thing I wrote, if I remember correctly, is doing my homework. Yes. Um, yes. I do I have a little bit of a. I do have a little bit of a struggle. So it, it's sort of a two pronged thing. On one hand, because I haven't been playing this game for too long, and also Paladins is a higher TTK, I sometimes don't expect to die so fast. And so that is partially mm. an experience, but also also partially, I think it could be like a. I don't know. Maybe I just need to get used to certain. Um, certain moments with the heroes that i'm playing okay and then the uh, the other hand is because like i'm still learning like hero interactions new maps stuff like that um i sometimes like you talk about like you know you've been talking about pioneering this rhyme thing since god knows when right <laughs> but it's yeah. like that idea where it's like okay on this map i'm pushing this thing i should clear out that place first then go here do this like that step by step thing um that i sometimes struggle with because i'm just like you know, it's after work or whatever. I'm playing for three hours, or you know, I just sort of sometimes I just turn my brain off. Right, right. Okay, makes so. sense. Makes sense. So it's like for for a lot of it is is like trying to find out. Like I don't know all these nuances. I might understand the concepts, but like how to actually apply them with this hero, or or like how to actually yeah. apply them on this map. I just don't have the reps there yet. Yeah, and, and I think a large part of it is that 
I've gotten as good as I have, especially in Paladins, but like more so, uh, even more so in this game now, is like is like based off of prediction. Sort of like, oh, I expect things to like come around the corner here, so I know that I kited in time, right? Right. As opposed to like re trying to react to it, that's not my strength. I, some people are crazy mechanical gamers and like they play Tracer and thing comes around the corner, they just blink away instantly. That's not me. Like I need yeah. to like sort of know that it's coming. Um, and like, I mean, I, I have a couple of games just the other day I was playing. It's like, I died twice, and it's because they nanovisored around a corner, and I knew huh. they were around the corner. I just wasn't expecting to die that fast. Right. And so it's like, uh, that can be worked on, but I think part of it comes with the idea of like, well, I need to, I need to have like a checklist in my mind of like, okay, I'm peeking this corner. I'm five orbing the corner. Like, I should expect these things when they come and push, right? So right 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 yeah. well i mean i think i think that's good is like most of the stuff that you're going to be doing anyway is going to be preparation anyway right it's going yeah. to be it's going to be creating even if you did have like godly reaction reflexes like why would i want to rely on that when i could just do my homework right yeah. ahead of time and make it that much easier yeah right? and like i i got into fps games in my 20s like i don't i don't have the reps that you know these 12 year old fortnite kids yeah. have you know what i mean it's yeah. like i can't i can't do that like that's not happening so <laughs> yeah makes sense makes sense okay i mean i think leaning into that more and instead of looking at it like okay i that i need to know more of what homework i'm missing i guess okay um, i see your point yeah yeah because I, I don't think that that's usually a problem usually mm -hmm. a problem okay mm -hmm. um all right let's uh let, let's let's keep going here uh obviously sleep definitely on the lower end you know yeah so I know. You know, you're aware of it so <laughs> yeah. it is what it is okay do you have any questions before we just hop into gameplay here um uh n no not specifically well i mean sort of so i have a i have like two vods that are just full games and then mm. i have a couple of like i have a couple of vods that are like i have a question about a moment or so is that okay yeah, I mean, we've I've okay. done vods where we like looked at like random team fights, bounced around. It's totally up to you. Okay, yeah, because I have so I have two like full games and then three just like I like I have a question about what I should have done in this case type of thing. Sure, so, let's do it. All right, Start um, off with whatever you want. Uh, let's just do the full game first, because why not? Sure. So, Works for me. What do I do? Do I just give you the just code? Just drop it. And you can either say it out or copy and paste it. I totally uh, V N T J G E. Okay. It should be Havana, and I'm playing Baptiste. Yeah. So my ma my main support hero pool right now is is Zen on a bap. So okay. you know, standard flex supporty type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. I basically, play everything than Lucio, but these are definitely my best three. I think. Do you feel like you have a decent grasp of what you should be trying to do as Baptiste? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, it, it's like Baptiste has like. Uh, Baptiste has like damage pressure that a lot of um, other healers don't have. Yeah. Um, and then it's like being able to like take an aggressive position to do something while also having the defensive cooldown. So like mm -hmm. bail your teammates out of jail. Yeah. Um, yep. He doesn't have like the mobility to do that always. So that I sometimes struggle with where I'm just like sitting in main, like doing the things I should, but I'm just sitting in main. Yep. So that's something to work on for sure. Okay. Let's uh let's take a look then. <clears throat> okay, let's do it. So I'm looking at this here and I'm like, you know, obviously Zen Hanzo might be kind of difficult to peek here, yeah. depending on the timing here. But we're gonna be able to get good shield damage. Um, you can be able to get some shots on Genji. Obviously, like you were saying, taking more aggressive positions than their supports would be able to, just because you have exo boots, because you have shift, because you have a lamp. Like in this case, is it worth it for me to play any other angle than main? Um, no, because the other angles don't provide a better benefit yeah. than where you're at right now. Like, you, okay. you, you can have better access to backline, but you really don't want to be peaking this backline too much anyway. Okay, that's what I thought. You okay. know, because you don't have an advantage range-wise over this backline right now. So I would just okay. kind of play it chill, win the tank war. Mm -hmm. And then when you get the opportunity to, you get swing. to turn this corner, okay. maybe we get to, like, take some take some high ground here, and then we start playing, like, a little bit of DPS, okay. right? Okay. Um, but Got right it. now, there's, there's no reason to leverage that right now. All right. Shift probably wasn't necessary there. I understand why we did it though. Um, okay, but it's like he has shield up or whatever. I can just patiently wait. Yeah, for like it. as soon as you've like dropped that healing, I think you he, think he's okay. Okay, I got you. And definitely the weaving needs to be like better. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on that. Because because you're on actually... the, you're on the easiest variation of weaving that there is, which is the double shield the double shoot heal. Um, yeah. In a shield war, right? Yeah. And that so I don't. It, 
aim my sh my gun. Right, exactly. There's not there's not really very little aiming to do at all. Like when you're uh -huh. tunneled on healing your tracer over there, I get it. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you some slack here. But like for okay. now, like this has to be perfect. Damage, damage, heal, damage, damage, heal, damage, damage, heal, damage, damage, heal. Like it needs to be nailing that. Yeah. You could shift this if you wanted to. Don't need to, but yeah. And then then you shift here. I think you need to understand like the limitations not only of your shift but also like it doesn't even hit him oh is that too far it's okay, too yeah. far you might it's be right too, actually. it's yeah. just it's one meter just a little too far you can see it in the animation here watch uh-huh we'll slow it down just right right here see the, yeah. see the circle yeah yeah, yeah 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 and then it cuts off so you're, you're yeah. close but no cigar got it and then the thing with Batiste is, is it's like a little bit like Mercy with the damage boost, where if you make, if you do a poor job weaving with your DPS pressure, with your healing pressure, you kind of create like this overwhelming disadvantage that like hitting a big nade or hitting a right click Zenyatta, you can't do that with Batiste really. Like yeah. your, your, your Sigma has lost a shield war so badly because you've been struggling with weaving that he just ends up freaking dying. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Like it's that con the consistency of it really does matter. Right. It, it accumulates. Okay. Right. And then even the yeah, shift yeah, yeah. there, you pop your shift, but you miss your shift, and then you don't really get any aggressive value out yeah, of the yeah, shift, yeah. and then he's gonna die as a result. Yeah. Their sigma gets so much more than my sigma. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Now this is this is an interesting thing here. So you're at a point in time where like, okay, you, you got some shield pressure, you got some weaving. Okay. What should you be doing right now? You do a quick check right now. What what should you do right about now? Um. I mean, so in my head, there's like three things to do. One, I just do the boring thing where I just like, like, if the if the enemy Sigma like puts their shield forward, I shoot the shield, try to force shift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's the I swing a little to the left and like see if I can like help uh, on that side. Maybe helps my tracer like no, go in with a little stop damage. Stop there, or right there. Stop right there. We didn't mm -hmm. want you necessarily to have to worry about that earlier. Why is that actually a factor now? Well, because we, well, one, cart's, like, sort of around the corner, and then two, I think, is that Tracer, like, top right there? Like, she's, like, moving into position on the right sure. side of the map, as, sure. as opposed to being stuck on the left sure. like, corner, right? Who wins this 1v1 at this range versus you and Zin? It's kind of close, right? Uh, kind of close. I mean, if like, I hit a head, well, it depends on who hits the headshot, I right. guess. Right, but, but it's, like, more of a 50-50, and this Zin mm -hmm. is actually distracted right now, right? Yeah. So, like, yeah, yeah. before, it was, like here and there's a, something else to contribute to so this doesn't make as much sense but we've now moved into like more of a lethal range for your hero uh-huh so you could swing left here what else could you okay. do what else could you do because that's only one of that there's one other option as well i mean i think i mean i could like swing wider like oh. as long as i don't, like, don't die but i could like play almost near that car and like yeah like help the tracer like play on that right side right? sure if you got Whereas, the opportunity like, right now, to, to help her like i'm like jumping to heal her yes if you got the opportunity you could go to where like we were talking about like the more aggressive angle on this right side taking this high ground here or something like that i don't think that's probably my least favorite option right now just because uh -huh. you have to cross in the open to do that right now yeah. it's kind of too late. yeah 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 so what i want you to do is honestly shoot zen mm -hmm. peak the angle uh-huh peak the angle put some pressure on this like, guy like it's like shooting the support there is worth more than just yeah. winning the yeah. tank war, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because because you 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 won the shield war because everything else would have felt bad. Now you okay. have this space to actually start taking duels and putting some pressure out. Like right here, shooting Genji, whatever, right? Okay. So let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Uh oh. And, the, and, and and you see the problem here. We're like, I understand what you're doing here. Yeah. But like once you hear it, like dash and deflect. You kind of need to put your attention back in the offensive just a wee little bit because yeah. while you're so focused on peeling, you know, you are the one that's going to die here. Yeah. And I let, like, if I was watching that left door earlier shooting to Zen, I would see that coming. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see mm -hmm. your point. So you're yeah. being, like, not to be corny, but you're being a little, little bit too much of a support. Uh, mm. and, and not enough of a uh, not yeah. enough of a damage dealer. I, he... I I gave up on playing Kiri because of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and the irony here is that your widow dies anyway. Yeah, and she gets like right clicked. So, like nothing you can do about that, right? So like, uh -huh. you know. Okay. Okay. Like if I just like pretended I was an off tank there and just played the door. Sure like a damage player like yeah. maybe they don't push me there right? yeah it's okay. it's it's like it's like knowing when you can actually do reasonable offensive mm. value without risking your life too much and then every time that opportunity presents itself you hit it over and over and over again mm -hmm. you win the yeah. shield war because nothing else feels good as soon as you get the space and shoot something else you shoot something else mm -hmm. yeah 
That's sometimes why Bap can feel kind of bad in these trades because sometimes if there's like a Hanzo Widow, it's like I can never do offensive yeah, pressure. Yeah, I just don't want to peek ever. But but even then, there are times, right? You Sigma's uh -huh. pushing your tracers on the back line. You get a short off angle where the, you're actually kind of close to the Widow. Then all of a sudden, it gets a lot a lot more up in yeah. the air. Yeah, I see your point. Okay. Shift hits him there, so that's that's fine. Uh, I mean, it happens. I, I she got legit one shot. Something hit her. Is it is it worth playing in this corner, like into a comp that can just shove into me that fast? Um, uh, or should I just play long, like right side main? I probably would have played a little bit of right side okay. main, maybe just because it, it's more like I'm not even thinking uh, defensively about it. I'm more thinking offensively, honestly. Like I'm thinking more like I've got the a better angle to better actually here. put offensive pressure, right? Yeah, yeah, that's um, a good point. You know, it's not so much about like the heal support play style. What hits your Kiriko? I really oh don't know God. what hits her. Um, I think it was Genji just like Genji shots with this one. Maybe, yeah, that might have been it. Yeah, that is the wrong hero. Okay. What if what just rotating high ground there on that last fight been worth? Just like as we played out. Like. No, here? no, the right high ground. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Like, like, like now. Uh, no, like, like when we died to Sigma Flux earlier, if I was over here, would that have been better? This would, this would have been fine. Yeah, this would have been okay. fine. Yeah, right, because wondering. this would have also cut off like the Hanzo sightlines. You could have shot Sigma Genji yeah. and done the shield yeah, trade yeah. without having okay. to peek the Hanzo. This, this actually might have been the best position for you to take. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You know, it's all again. It's always like, where can I like actually do shoot people without like just instantly dying? You know? Yeah. We're trying the weave here. It's not pretty, but it's there. Yeah, I'm. I, even I'm here though, working. even here though, like it's it, you're trying, but then I see this and I'm like, mate, heal then shoot, shoot. You know, like yeah. you get like three or four heals in a row. You can't increase mm -hmm. your, your 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 heal thing there by doing it just focusing only on healing. Very rarely will that be the case. The only time you do that is if the target needs direct hits with your heals and needs them every single time. Like if somebody's like uh, one HP and yeah. you need to be very accurate with your healing, it's okay to yeah. only focus on healing. But that's the I got your point. vast minority yeah. situations. Okay, I got it. I should have got there, but okay. Nah, it's all right. Good, nice. Zoom, -y zoom. Let's uh, let's keep going. Any questions so far? No, nope, no questions. So for me, looking a little bit at that weaving, looking for more opportunities to put out offensive pressure without having to peek like a sniper. Yeah. Um, and then maybe like understanding like the shift a little bit more because okay, you might have seen that Junkertown VOD where I talk about like that shift is what allows you to take more aggressive positions. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So if you can aiming for that. Obviously here, not really much you can do. You're the cart. That guy's bot. not savable by me, right? No. Like, well, not yeah, when you're okay. cart botting, no. Yeah, yeah. And then now, the thing about this now is, you have okay. I think think of space is like it opens up your ability to do DPS. Mm -hmm. Like right now, a bad I mean, I right here, a but... bad Batiste <laughs> would go to try and heal their Sigma, right? Yeah. A good Batiste is just gonna murder the May. And then try to shoot the Reinhardt, and then maybe look for heal Sigma later, right? You, there is nothing, there is no difference between you, um, I'm in like a Zenyatta right now. Oh uh, yeah. Where uh -huh. you're just, you're just looking That's for gone. you. Yeah. A little I slow in the shift. There. Yeah, I should have But, but see, I, I don't even like this necessarily. Like you pop your shift here, mate. You have a massive advantage here. Mm-hmm. Like just you jump just back up. Jump again. back up there. Use your lamp selfishly. Yeah. I don't give a rip. Get the kill. Yeah. Have some ego here. Yeah. But instead, I just like leave. Yeah. Right. No, I get it's, your point. it's not even like an ego thing. Like, oh, it's a confidence thing. It's a misunderstanding of when you have an advantage and when you don't. Mm -hmm. It's the same reason like, why. Just shifted. Like the only right. thing she do. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, You've won the one v one. It's the same thing as like I don't. When I want you to do DPS pressure, I don't want you picking a Hanzo at long sidelines. I just don't. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. But if you get close to the Hanzo and you have both abilities, yes. Yeah. Please. You have an yeah, advantage. Okay. You're, you're yeah, better yeah, than yeah. he is in the 1v1. It's not an ego. It's just running the numbers. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Who has a better yeah. chance of winning that 1v1? That's all. Uh huh. Yeah, I think I'm much better at like knowing when to back up than knowing when to like run into people. Right, so right. <laughs> knowing when you have the advantage, right? And yeah. That's like that's like a it's like a for a lot of people it's an Overwatch one habit. For you, you coming in new into Overwatch two, it's yeah. just maybe just like the support mindset here. Like right now, yeah. Can I take? Is this where I want to? Because because we've been like smoking up the gills talking about like don't pick the Hanzo, don't pick the Hanzo, don't pick the mm -hmm. Hanzo. Well, now you have the opposite problem, right? 
where like this is you would want only want to take a duel with a Hanzo by getting out close. But like look yeah. at the versus what you're doing right now. What's the problem with yeah. the screen right now, right? I mean it's they're like right there. Yeah, it's a Ryan yeah. May right there at, at close to full I mean really, yeah, basically full resources, right? Yeah. You're in serious trouble. You're in serious yeah. trouble. And so much so that as soon as you see this rotation here, you immediately yeah, need to start I should be gone right. already. Yeah. You should be here. No, that's a good, shoot, yeah, shoot, no. shoot, 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 shoot. So you need to ego your damage more, but ego your proximity less. I see. Yeah. All about kind of like understanding what your advantage is over the enemy team. Mm -hmm. Now, I get it. Meg might bowl your head off too, but she also might not, case in point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice lamp. Wouldn't be here. Uh, I should die here, but... M okay. Maybe, maybe. I would be hugging, you know, here. And then if he pushes me, I jump up, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, or, but she's also probably going to have shatter. So where should you be about now? Where should your goal be? Um, I think I could play... So, like, on the high ground, not on the floor. Sure, but where? I, I, I could play, like... I could play... L mm. I could play, like, just behind, like, on the high ground with the door, but, like, behind like me. Here? Like here? Or yeah, here? like or maybe a little yeah, here? like there. Yeah, that's where. Yeah, here. Or I mean, I don't know if I have enough time to rotate all the way left to where the soldier is. Yeah, it would be good if you could, but you can't really. Yeah, I can't. Um, yeah. You could also so just like the high ground. Go here. Create and just a little like bit shove of... the zen. Yeah, just shove the zen because again, like, what do you uh... want to do versus that guy? I want to shove him in the face, right? Yeah. Um, I, I don't. I and like, there's enough difference, distance, excuse me, between me and Reinhardt to where I'm like, I'm, I'm okay with this. You know? I'm not worried. Okay, yeah, I get your point. Again, it's the like shift. okay. Let my sigma like do his thing while I go kill right, Zen. right, okay. right, right. Because you're 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 you, you you need to think of this as like okay, how much healing am I doing to my sigma? Okay, right uh -huh. now, let's count. Fifty. One. Yeah. A hundred, and you're gonna die anyway. You did I about should have died. You did about a hundred healing to your sigma. Okay. Uh huh. Now let's look at the Zenyatta. Discord. That's one shot. That's two Discord. shot. Discord. Shot. Discord. Yeah. Discord. Even though he didn't hit a single shot outside of one or two shots in the shield, he did uh -huh. more of, of the equivalent of your healing. Yeah. To to your just by throwing Discord on it. Yeah. So if he'd even landed one shot, you would have you would have gotten more from shooting the Zenyatta. But the difference between you going for the Zenyatta and going for the Sigma is even though it's a neutral in terms of resources, which one is safer for you? Uh, I mean. The Zen, because it's just me and the Zen. It just, it's just you and the Zen, and it's in a favorable yeah. matchup for you, and there's a higher chance of a kill at the same time. Yeah. Um, yeah. In addition to that, like I think, obviously, like you're overestimating your shift range again. Your shift misses again. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So, I don't know. Just something to consider. Just something to consider. Because even yeah. there, like you're going full heal mode, and you would have been better served actually damaging the person who was damaging you. Yeah, sometimes I, for I forget that in, in this game, because like the lower TTK, like just killing things the better sometimes <laughs> yeah, well, oh, it's 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 the threat of the kill it's the distraction yeah. it's the pulling yeah. the discord to you getting the zen to look oh, at yeah, you because the zen can't shoot anymore he has to like right. turn for it maybe right. his right has to turn for him right. like okay, yeah i get your point right a lot of tanking support dps or whatever well, is like troll it's like I'm... making yeah a bit of a troll i mean i get why yeah. you drop but you just need to be more responsive with your abilities yeah. yeah um it is about understanding like where and when your favorable 1v1s are and then like leaning yeah. into those as much as you can. It wasn't just push Zenyatta 24-7 instead of helping your mm -hmm. tank. It was, I have an opportunity to push Zenyatta at an advantage. I take it, therefore that will help my team. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, do you want to move on to the next hero or do you want to keep going with that? Because you swap um, here, but we could, it's up to uh, you. Honestly, this this swap is just because like, I don't want to play BAP on last, so. Fair enough, yeah. Um, well, uh there's more bap after this so like i played the entire defense i think so let's just let's do bap for the defense first works for me yeah caesar stick on one hero i think yeah yeah yeah, yeah. agreed all right let's uh let's take a look here um okay okay i do have a question here mm -hmm. so if my other support is on the low ground mm -hmm. do i have to play that high ground there no. like with no. my other guys no. okay no, 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 no. If you, if you can heal them or support them from wherever or do damage from wherever, it's fine. Okay. Like you I can sit here and just shoot. On their bodies. No, 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 no. You're okay. Fine. Too much healing, not enough damage. Yeah, I should have shot her at least once. As soon as you're healing here and shift and you see the Bursi beam, like she's fine, mate. Shoot her. Yeah. Yeah. You, you try to heal the tracer. 
that that that's always the funniest thing ever yeah. whatever because yeah, like I, I do it all the time myself it's like even in diamond and like masters baptists it's like your brain wires get crisscrossed Dude, I, you know I've, I've done it on moira before where someone's oh. inting me and i just heal by accident yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. it's bad that's way too much healing like this sigma has been able to take so much space without taking uh -huh. like any shield damage right? yeah because i'm not pressuring him at all right yeah. now you're gonna have to be selective about your peaks because zenyatta but that's pretty much the only thing you need to worry about here. You could just be playing Soldier 76 here, essentially. Again. Yeah, like I could have shot that guy while I was healing yeah, him. Yeah, force like... just force his deflect, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's going to make it a lot harder for him to keep pushing. Yeah. Same thing here. So yeah, much like it's, healing. Yeah, you're right. Like, it's easy to blame my team, but it's like, no. Like, the amount yeah. of damage I could have done in this situation might have allowed the hog to not have right, to back up that Right, right. Your healing yeah. has been very, very small impact in terms of allowing your team to do more pressure. It's It's been almost minimal. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, if I remember correctly, I go from, like, 12,000 healing to 13,000. I'm yeah. sorry, yeah, in, 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 like, it's, 100 it's, it's in, like, three minutes. It, it's, not, yeah, yeah. it's not good. You're not getting much DPS pressure at all. Um, and then even here, it's like more healing, more healing, more healing, more healing. I'm smelling yeah. a shift soon. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, uh, disaster. Okay, yeah. you don't really need to. Um, even here, like, like how is the Sigma allowed to eat oh, this I, much? Well, I, uh... I mean, I, I get it, you know? Like, at least there's a reason or a logic behind what you're doing here, so we'll, we'll, yeah. Yeah, we'll move on. Unfortunately, I feel like if I didn't do that, we might have won that, but, you know, yeah, that's how happens. it is sometimes. It happens. Well... Like even here, you're you're fine. Am I, mm -hmm. Is this Genji gonna peek me? Am I gonna be able to blow his head off? Now you're gonna have to be careful with the Widowmaker. But remember, yeah. when they go on Widowmaker, that means that you're able to take more flanks aggressively because there's no tracer, right? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. The, a, a win in one department is a loss in another department for them. They can't have their cake and eat it too. So you need to uh -huh. be careful about doing things like this, right? Mm -hmm. But if you were to ever take a position like this or yeah. this. You're cooking, right? You're totally fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's like if the Widow kills me there, that's more good on her than bad on me. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, I get that. Oh, I just like missed twice. That's fine. Tackle Visor. What do you think the enemy team is going to be doing? Backing up. So where should you be? Oh, yeah, I could just be walking forward. You walk, take an angle, Widow. right? Go up here with yeah. your Ash, right? Go up here with mm -hmm. your Sar I, I, This feels a little bit too open for me, so I probably mm -hmm. lean more towards the right, but for crying out loud, take some space. Well, and these flexes, and the lamp, I... was, the lamp was fine. Okay. Yeah, the lamp is fine. Is it fine. faster if I throw it at the floor than if I bounce it off the wall? Um, I don't know that, yes, yes it, okay. it, yes, it is. So but maybe you, I see. You, you didn't really have the angle for it, so the best yeah. thing you could have done is just to aim just it. Stuck it. Aim, yeah. aim it, aim it a little bit lower, lower. so it bounces yeah. lower, but okay. it's, 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 it's usually not a huge deal. Yeah. Okay, I got your point. I just be shooting instead of healing. Yeah. Um, she was crit, so I get it. But yeah, it's overall. Oh, the Sigma hits though is like good on him, I guess. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Rotate away, rotate away, shoot, 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 shoot. Push, 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 push. Probably didn't need to land there that soon. Yeah, prefer to have it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. That wasn't my best shot. <laughs> Unfortunate. Is it worth lamping there? Yes. Like to try. Okay. Yeah. yeah so I should yeah. just try. Okay. Yeah. Try, because that Ryan dies if that Zarya lives, and then you guys get mm. to recontest. Good point. It's all right. Keep going. Oh, you're about to. Oh, I don't oh, know about this no. one. Oh no. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> shoot! 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 Lamp! Shoot! 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 Heal! Shoot! 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 Heal! This is good. That's oh! <laughs> oh no, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Just a little bit, a little bit slow. And then obviously uh -huh. with the infra sights, you were like, I'm scared to rotate, right? Yeah. And this I mean, that's is the wide in mode. The hardest thing about support is understanding like how you can like balance the dynamics of your positioning when they are on a comp like this, where you're like, I don't want to get close to Reinhardt, but I also don't want to peak Widowmaker. Yeah. But there's always a solution. There's always yeah. a solution. Like for example, yeah. right now, this works because I have a widow on top controlling that widowmaker sightline, so she's yeah. probably not behind Ryan, which means I can just play DPS mm -hmm. BAP on the shield right now. Yeah. If we're able to walk forward and I hear a widow shot from over here, well then that means I could DPS widow right here. Right? Mm -hmm. Or DPS yeah. 76 right here. So like keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting this bat, keep shooting or the Ryan. Keep shooting. I mean that that window's fine, I think. 
I would prefer you to be more selfish with it because um, these guys are already a threat. Uh huh. They don't need an extra bit of threat. You have a widow and a damage boosted ash. Do you know where you're not really a threat? Here. Yeah, like main. So they Main's can just like really rotate away from the window. Right. Okay, right. So so now you've put too many eggs into one basket. Let yeah. these guys be. The, let you be a threat on main. Uh -huh. Zarya threat on here. Double hit scan here. Now you've got a three prong approach. As a here, you really only two. Like Zarya, high and then you. the guy in point. Right. Right. You're you're not a, you're not a factor here. Right. Yeah, I see your point. And you can see that that ends up not really. You don't get anything out of that. Right? Yeah. They just hide. Mm. It's not a bad window. I, I think mm -hmm. the fact that you actually used it is nice, but. Um, the lowest bar. <laughs> oh! He must have crashed. Well, I mean. Did he crash or. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I mean, he played the game afterwards, so. <laughs> I don't know. I think he just, like, just. Just. Damn, I mean. .exe just died, right. I guess. I mean, my Genji's like gold, so I can't complain. Yeah, true. But at least you maybe press buttons. Hmm. Maybe. 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 Yeah. Maybe my keyboard is plugged in. Good. Okay, so then now the widow's peeking here, so then now you have to shorten up your sight lane, right? But mm -hmm. that also means that then if you ever get the opportunity here, you can peek this here. Um, uh, yeah. Like this Genji, for example, you have to be a little bit less concerned if he pushes up top, like right here. Bang. Do you, is this smart? I think so. Why? I mean, well, on one hand, if I just leave him up there, that's really bad. And then two, like, am I, I'm being beamed. And then, like, even even if I don't kill him, I just force him off the high ground and he uses cooldowns, and then maybe someone else, like, kills Here's him. So solution. I think solution. fine. Here's the solution. It's a 1v1 with a squishy, you have shift and lamp, it's good. Mmm. Right, I literally said nothing about my own cooldowns. That's right. sort of that, funny. That, I mean, like really, like, this is, like, you, you, this is why, I mean, freaking, you ever play the Seda lobby in Control Center where, like, you respawn as random heroes in a 1v1? Yeah, 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 I have. People hate Batiste in that mode, and he doesn't even have lamp. Right, because shift is, like, 150, shift right? Shift is ridiculous. Shift? This guy's yeah. movement, his gun, his shift is ridiculous, right? And now you also have lamp. I, unless you screw up majorly here, you're going to win this. You're gonna win this I versus Sombra, you're gonna win this versus Gassy, you're gonna win this versus uh -huh. Hanzo most of the time. Like there's some heroes that will beat you, but very rarely. So okay. this guy's half HP, you have abilities, he dies. Goodbye. Okay. Now, yes, your Ash died because she got pinned by Reinhardt at that exact same moment. But that's going to happen I... in the minority yeah. of situations. Yeah. I mean, like, even then, who knows if I react in time with Lamp or whatever. Of course. Like, she might right. just die anyway. Like, Correct. Yeah. This is all fine and dandy. Wouldn't be shooting Reinhardt. I know why you're touching, but you're not gonna win by shooting Reinhardt. You're yeah, good point. Like I don't care if he's the easiest target shoot, shoot fucking someone else. Exactly. Yeah, okay. the, the only way that you're gonna win this is rolling the dice, yes, you I, know? Yeah. And you're not gonna roll the dice. There you go. There it is. Nice. Oh, that's unfortunate. She's not Could I have saved her there? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Nice. That's okay, you guys gotta kill here, it's fine. Uh -oh. Yee, careful. You don't necessarily have an advantage doing what you're doing now unless you see her shooting elsewhere. That's kind of what we're saying. Like it's 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 about yeah. being smart with your offensive yeah. pressure, right? Where like she's not under a lot of threat right now, so then therefore peeking this is scary. Yeah. Like she could just have been looking at me there. She could have. I see your point. This is kind of crazy, but at least you're setting up a bit of a crossfire here, so <laughs> just yeah. be careful. Yeah. I mean we like I do think we barely win this, but so far, so good. And you guys have mines coming up next, too. And they have a lot, too. But will they build them in time? That's the question. Here is fine to heal bot. Because is there any angle that you can take right now to put out offensive pressure without peeking the Widowmaker? Well, without peeking the Widowmaker is the key phrase, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It doesn't really I mean, feel I like could, it, right? I could swing a little to the right of the cart and shoot, but I might get my head torn off, so... Right, right. <laughs> so it feels like not worth the risk. Now, maybe here, yeah. and immediately, you start shooting, right? Why? Because yeah. you know this is safe. Yeah. This is very important that you do that, right? So much so that I think you going back here to heal your Bastion instead of shooting these guys was a mistake. I see. Look so at what like happens even... as soon as you turn around. Watch this. I'm going to pause at the exact same moment you turn around. The Bastion's uh -huh. getting beamed. He's mostly full HP. 
Look, uh -huh. what, look what presents themselves the second that you go back. You yeah, see Lucio, oh, you see shield, right? A trend that I'm seeing is like I'm not I'm not trusting my other healer to do it. Yeah. I think. Well the guy's like, basically the, full. The mercy too. should just be on that. The bash yeah. um, how much HP was the bash actually missing when he turned around? I'm actually curious. I think he was almost full. Like you look at him and then choose to heal him anyway. Yeah, 280 yeah. HP. That's yeah, you're right. you. 280 yeah. HP and he wasn't even in turret form. Yeah. And like yes, if my mercy isn't doing that, that's my job, but like she is, so Yeah. Okay. I think I need to just work on, like, yeah, by it my really is, board is, like, in my rank. Like, I should let them do their job. I would just wait to hit, then shift, to get the okay, full like value the full out drop. of it. Yeah, I got your yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> Okay. Regardless, well, we have a pretty simple the simple set of goals for you with uh, Batiste. What do you see with yeah. Batiste? I think um, the weaving, obviously, that's really important. I think just generally, like, using my M1, <laughs> as really stupid as it sounds, like, like, it's just, like, learning, like, one, it, like, in terms of weaving, like, trying to win what is, like, more or less a neutral trade, but, like, learning when I can just, like, not ego the duel, but it's, like, it's actually optimal for me agreed to not play around my team and play for myself in that one moment because that is helping my team right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that definitely needs working on and then what i think, think part of it's three? just sorry go again what do you think well go ahead go you finish your thought first no and then i think the last one is just like just like don't start healing just because you see him lose 50 hp right yeah. right <laughs> like right. yeah right 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 don't what do you think about these three points i put in your channel uh, sorry, I need to go look. Oh, why? Yeah, yeah, that's good. I think reasonable risk is definitely something I need to work on. Right, because um, the, th the thing is, it's not only when it's safe, it's just when it's reasonable risk, right? Because there was good... Peaking a Genji is reasonable risk. But... Yeah, I think when when I was, like... When I was... I'm currently Masters 4, I think. Mm -hmm. But when I was in Diamond, the thing I was struggling with the most was dying to two shots. And so I think I got it so into my head that I, like, can't peek that I'm, like, doing the opposite now, where mm -hmm. it's, like, I'm not even going for the things that I, like, I can just take a duel. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay. 100%. Okay, do you want to go over the cool. next code? Do you have any questions? Um, How much time do we have left? We got 15 minutes. 15 or 20 minutes? minutes, actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, I want to get those questions in, and if we have time, then maybe we can look at the code. Of course, um, So let me... All right, so... I... I have I have three codes with questions, so I'll just go with the first one. So that would be two P J six six Y. Two P J whoops. Yeah, that's two P J six six Y. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. The root. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let me let me find it for you because it's not like the whole map, obviously. But where am I? Sorry. I I'm pretty new to this, so I actually don't know the replay viewer that much. Do you know what point or defense attack? Yeah, it's um it was it was defense and it was on first. And um I'm I'm like on the high ground as Zen. And Okay, Zen, not Ana. Or maybe it's Ana actually. No, it is Ana. It is Ana. Okay. And then they I think they nano visor around that corner and I'm playing like the mm. I'm playing like the sign. Alright. I like, this am I just supposed to predict that to happen, or is there like a yeah. smarter thing to, or it's like, is there a smarter thing to do there? Is basically what I'm asking. Okay, so it's this this play right here is an advice, and then you get toasted. All right, let's take a look. Here. Yeah. <clears throat> like, is it just like get good? You should predict this, or like? Well, you're you're, you're standing on the open. Am I so I'm like not close enough to cover no, as well? Exactly, exactly. Okay. Now you're not expecting them to fight now because this soldier's pushing it very aggressively. He's cheating, but mm -hmm. he also caught you cheating too. Yeah. So like, if I were more disciplined there, yes. then he doesn't kill. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit more discipline with the cover. Yep. So a similar thing happens on our attack. Okay. Same. I'm playing Zen, but it's on second. Okay. So I'm like, um, they come. You know that high ground, uh, like right by the door. They come like it's it's past this. Um, yeah, I think it's like here-ish. Yes, what? like right there. Yeah. 
Hanzo it's the same that? thing. I just... Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, is that Hanzo? It was Hanzo. Well, it's like, should, like, is that even a safe thing to peek in the first place, like, given the, the situation, or... Well, let's see. Like, should I even be fighting this? I would like... not peek this here until I make sure that that Hanzo is distracted elsewhere. I understand your concern, where you're thinking there's not a lot of sightlines that I can peek without Hanzo peeking me, but watch uh -huh. this. Wait for them to walk out, listen, and then th there's some sort of pressure, then peek. The other okay. sightline that you could take here is you could also rotate to this here where it becomes a lot harder for Hanzo to walk out and peek you, or uh -huh. even here right you yeah. see how we're shortening up your sightline we're deepening the angle and making it harder for the hanzo walking out of the door to be able to shoot you you see this yeah oh uh, yeah i get you. like if he wants to find me on that far right he has yes. to lunge left or whatever yes like, it's very similar team. to the stuff that point. we're talking about with batiste where you're playing uh -huh. to your like your range advantage now zinyata has a monstrous range advantage on almost the entire cast yeah with the exception of two heroes yeah. On, uh, excuse me, Widow, yeah. Hanzo. It's like Hanzo and Widow, yeah. Hanzo and Widow. Everything else, you can out snipe. So that's just kind of something you need to keep in mind. Okay, I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's that's all I wanted for that one. Okay, um, sure. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so this is a Li Zhang code. So it's sure. Z -A Z -H -J -V -O -Z. Like. Uh, oops. And where on this code? Um... Basically all of second, like uh, so. That's the one with the tower. I don't remember. What it's yeah. called. Let's take a look. So we play, we play this, we play the sim strat thing, mm -hmm. and I like sort of just don't know. Do like do, do I like do I go there to play it just because like that's the thing our team sure. is doing, or like if there's sometimes where i feel like this isn't the right thing to do but our sims already going do i have to follow it yeah, like, I, I think it's okay to follow i just don't know that i necessarily stay in point because here you feel uh -huh. like it, your sight lines are a little bit crappy so like what i might do is i might peek around here or i might go to if they start to get pushed i can back out here or back out here or go for uh -huh. something more aggressive or like here. rotate yeah okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's okay all right you need to have los of your team by zana mm -hmm. right that's yeah. the most important thing so if you don't take tp and your team does Unless you're on the flank, which isn't the worst thing you could do, but it's really not the best for your hero. That's more of a Kiriko Moira thing. Um, yeah. Then then stay with your team, but take an angle from your team. Take a sight line from your team, right? Okay. Um, so what you're doing right now is, is honestly fine. Okay. I mean, there's there's we do it a couple more times, and like there's some sure. fights where I feel like I just DP in and troll, and so I don't really know what to do in those situations. We'll find out. But what I would do is, is is don't stay. Always try to be a little bit a little bit of rotating left, a little bit of rotating right. Maybe backing up here. Okay, the far is yeah. linking me. I'm gonna keep a sight line here so that she can't catch me off guard, right? Yeah, I was. I forget which video of yours I was watching the other day, mm -hmm. and it was it was like it was just like I think it was like fielders. Just like he doesn't have to move, but he's always moving. He's always moving. Yeah. His little rotations. Yeah. Yeah. Working on that. Okay, right, so like this one, like so I think it's find a good one. point. Okay. You just you're honestly the problem here is that you're just too late to take the tp so i actually should just commit to it like mm -hmm. even harder yeah okay Matt, get on get on the tp and get ready to get your your face blasted off by the pharmacy but if okay. you nade yourself if you rotate quickly to cover you should be okay okay it's so a high risk the, high reward play it, it just is in the time that i'm like as like thinking about whether i should go in that's when we actually mm -hmm. lose it. Mm -hmm. i see mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now your entire team doesn't need to TP to point. Yeah. It could just be Sim like Moira and mm -hmm. you're Arissa and you could help their point. But if your entire team does TP to point, <laughs> you then, need to yeah, go. Yeah, I have to go with. You need okay. to go. Yeah. I know, so this is a little more of a, just a ranked specific question, but like what if half your team just doesn't want to do it? Like, <laughs> then, then pick a half. Then pick a half and pick okay, a half. For, for example, and you, and you might also be like, okay, well, I don't like fighting on point because my sight lines are bad, right? So mm -hmm. I will prefer the half that plays here. Okay. And so just pick one and commit to it, basically, sure, regardless sure. of whether it's a and, and, I, and not to be that guy, but you know, look where we're at. Yeah. Right? Like, I would yeah. rather have you here and throwing yeah. nades and sleeps than you about yeah. to die to a barrage. Yeah, which I do, by the way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was not too hard to predict <laughs> mm. well okay the thing is for you it's not too hard to predict i never saw that coming 
Well, okay. I to be fair, I knew the Faro was there. That's why I predicted. Yeah, it. I did. That's, that's I the have, only reason I predicted. It. I have 400 hours in this game. Uh, I don't think I've played against Farah enough times on this map specifically for me to guess that she's in she's that quite, bush. She, she is very underrated in this map. You won't see her a lot, but she is hard. That knee mm. needs to hit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing here. Totally fine. Okay. You might need. You might have to turn around and be like, okay, they're all in front of me, so I'm gonna rotate to this position here, right? Or rotate yeah. this position here. You've got obviously sim wall, which helps a lot too. Nice shot. Yeah. Yeah, the big thing about rotating the point, again with the nade, the big thing about rotating the point is that you're scared of what's going to be happening behind you to the left and to the right. So as long as you're uh -huh. alert to things like this, uh huh, that's the key thing. Yeah, but if I, if I TP and she's like not there, I don't have to stick on point. I can just rotate out. Mm -hmm. You can yeah, get I out of point okay, if you I need see, to. Yeah. We'll, okay, we'll zoom through a few more. I'll see if there's anything yeah. of note to see. It's um, sort of the same thing. <laughs> I mean, I it's, a it's a strat. It's a strat. It's yeah. lost a lot of its effectiveness with the loss of off tank because you're worrying about like the, the far coming behind you. A lot of yeah. that would help I mean, like, with it. Another, would have it. Right. Yeah. Another beef there would help out with that. So yeah, yeah, I get um, your point. But also at the same time, team, if you're smarter with your ability to like rotate, move around, and you're actually hitting nades, then it's, it's a little bit less of an issue. Okay. Yeah, I I don't think there's anything else to. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All Any right. other? Um, we got ten more minutes. So. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, while we're on the Ana thing, then I just have an Ana vod. We can just look at it real quick. Sure. Um, and it's fine if we don't finish it in ten minutes. That's fine. totally fine. Um, let me find it. Circuit. Uh, so this is A B F four zero zero. A B F four zero zero. You sure there's zeros? I. Yeah. Uh, ah, you got it. Nice. I don't know. <laughs> you got it. Well done. Well done. Well done. Now, is there a difference between O and zero in this um, thing? Faintly, it can be a little tough okay. to, to, to see, yes. All right, let's, uh, wait. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, this, it was just a strat. I just saw the Widow roll out, and I was sure. like, okay, I might as well try sure, it. Sure, sure, It didn't, okay. trust me, it didn't work. Would you like a speed review? Yeah, let, let's, yeah, all right, let's, 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 let's go. let's do this two times all the way through. That's the challenge. Okay, you need, I, even with the uh, like the amount of spam that's going through, you need to be looking for these offensive nades here because that's going to put them on the back foot a little bit. So what I would do is I'd peek this corner here, three, two, one, yeet a nade on the back line. Take a couple okay. shots, pot shots here. Because like even if there was a Widowmaker, I would still be looking for opportunities to do that because you uh -huh. are like, you're putting the, you're, you're, you're bailing out the ship with a bucket is what you're doing yeah. right now. Uh, you're not so going to be able to keep up. Even if I get my head torn off, it might be worth hitting the two man. On it, the, it, it might it be. And now we'd like to have our cake and eat it too, right? You yeah. should you should you should be able to land the nade without getting your head torn off here. Uh -huh. um, but you, right now you're you're sitting on two cooldowns in a spam war and do a jack all. Yeah, and you're yeah, okay. You're never point. gonna be able to out heal this damage, and you don't want yeah, to. Yeah. So you're playing this one way too safe. It, it, it's Got reminiscent it. a little bit of what you're, you were doing in Batiste as well, like where you're not uh -huh. utilizing. There's one freaking nade. And it's already done more pressure-wise yeah, like than the entire yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, right? That's a good point. So, thankfully, your Widow and Ash kind of held down the fort, but that was that was a bit ugly. Don't sleep that. Okay. Just wait. It's not worth it. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Nano, 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 Nano. Legitimately, totally fine. Nano Brig, if she's close, Nano people who are engaged in fighting, right? Mm -hmm. The Brig was yeah. close enough to swing, Nano Brig's fine. Okay. There's Widowmaker, so you're gonna have to be a little bit smarter about when you, and how you peek. Uh, Cart here is fine because somebody has to push it. But as soon as you possibly can, find an angle. Um, is it worth pre-nading like that? No. That's something I've always wanted. Not no, really. just, just uh, hold I, There are a few set nades that you can like memorize and learn. There's videos on them on YouTube that you can find. Um, mm -hmm. But beyond that, no, not really. Okay, well, you'll see me do it a couple more times. So I, <laughs> I'm well aware. The problem is, is that like right now, it's very legitimate for you to actually like peek for a nade here. You and know just what like I'm saying? Jump, like jump for the nade. You're right. Like there, there, there yeah. are nades right here. Why are you going for a sky nade when there's a nade right here? You know? It doesn't yeah. make any sense. Whoops. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Well, ah. okay, there we go. And then even here, like if you're prioritizing your offensive pressure here, you might be taking like a left sight line. Like you might be going, okay, we're pushing here. I'm going to flank here. Or we're pushing here. I'm going to take a quick flank here. You don't have to flank for long. Just enough to mm -hmm. press E. You know? I see. Unfortunately. Yeah, okay. That's actually something I've been thinking about. Because, like, as Ana, you don't want to sit on that angle. But, like, how do I get offensive pressure if I don't want to sit there? Right. So it's just, like, Bursts. quick rotate, chuck the nade, Bursts. and then run away, right? Yes. Okay. And, and, and by the way, how passive you have played, and yet you still died to a Widowmaker. Yeah. You know? That should mm -hmm. be kind of a red flag for you. Okay. 
Yeah, that's that's good. That's something I I didn't realize I was doing until mm -hmm. I'm looking at this. I don't think you really had a chance to get a sight line here, to be honest with you. I wouldn't peek this. Be careful. Yeah, so 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 widow's down, so you could play pretty much however you want. That's well. And so I would I would not be checking this nade here again. Taking an angle, take a sight line. Uh -huh. Um. Oh, school cool. just didn't hit. That's, that's yeah. Could I just have left there, or do I go try to help that queen? Um. You you can't. <laughs> Uh huh. Like, how are like, you gonna help the queen? Where are you gonna fly? You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, it's like she's trying to go to the high ground. Like, if she lives and I'm not there to help her, like, is that a tragedy or is it? Well, I mean, just okay. Well, it's so, too so low what, percentage for me to even. What try. is your What is your question here? Well, because you so, can't see queen here, right? I mean, she's trying to go up those stairs to go on the high ground there, right? But how are you gonna get to the stairs from here? Well, I don't need to be there. If she like come, if she like comes around the corner, right? Like, if she lives this and she goes through that door, then I can heal her. Yes, of like, course. Right. Yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. But she, oh, should she I... didn't, so she, you couldn't. <laughs> You're right? No, but, like, my point is, like, I could have left. Like, instead of, like, staring at her and just, like, oh, looking at the high ground, I, I could just I, be I, oh, 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 I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. No, no, what you did is fine. There was a okay, reasonable okay. chance that your queen gets out of there alive and you were there to be there. Okay, okay, um, okay. So, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I have no problem with that. Especially it being last fight and all. Okay. Nano bridge. I got flame for that nano, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you couldn't really see much else. Okay, so it's a lot of the offensive value that again you're missing yeah. out on. You're missing okay. out on windows. It, like it needs to be your entire focus. It's like, like how can I get offensive value here? How can I get offensive value here? Yeah. Obviously, things like pharmacy, obviously things like Windowmaker are gonna make you that a little bit harder. Uh, I mean, to be honest not a lot here right yeah there's just not a lot has happened here <laughs> maybe she dies no the other thing you could do as well is pay attention to, like you need to know where that widow is if you know uh -huh. that widow is here you know that you could peek here aggressively if you know mm -hmm. the widow is over here you know that you could rotate here not aggressively but you have more options here right yeah. and in worst case scenario remember the burst of value rule right if you can't do yeah. anything find a time when that widow is distracted right pay attention yeah. to your up to your ball right that ball's in that's your time to nade because that's not only more likely to get follow-up but also they're more likely to be distracted and so therefore you're less likely to die to widow because widow is not looking at you widow is looking at your ball it's still, it's like, before, as these fights are opening here, I am thinking like this, I am like pre-scope, like ready to hit a nade on anything I can. Uh -huh. um, even if that's the bat from the high ground or whatever. Oh my gosh, your widow's like... Yeah, I mean, that was a pretty crazy shot there. It's 3k. Yeah, I can see just from like these past 15 seconds, I'm too worried about like what might happen to my teammates to look for something that I could do to them, exactly. like and the enemy team. And because of that, your suspicions are confirmed because it's all you're focusing on. Instead of putting on offensive pressure, yeah. preventing that from happening in the first place. It's like you're so worried about the offensive threat to your team that you don't put out any offensive pressure. And because you don't put out any offensive pressure- Yeah, I, posi you, I positive feedback loop myself. You, you, right, you positive feedback loop yeah. yourself, right? It's like constantly worrying and looking on the negative side of things. So you're such an unpleasant person that, ev that everything is unpleasant, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 you're, you're creating the reality that you're living in. Yeah. Um, Where it's like, yeah, sure, I limit test myself too hard, I get my head blown off, but it's right. like, at least I know that I'm working towards that, right, as opposed right, to just right. sitting in the back hoping exactly. for nothing to happen. And be intelligent about it, too. Like, when when do you look for these angles? When do you look for dates? When do you look for offensive pressure? What positions do you take? You know, like, mm -hmm. certain times. Nade, burst value, then go back and heal your team. Look for shots when you don't have to peek a Widowmaker, right? Yeah. These cooldowns are tragic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think we have like a 25% nade hit rate. It is, I mean, yeah, it, I mean it, it, it is yeah. what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. <laughs> zoom, zoom, I zoom. Think, Anna. I think part of it, I think, think part of it's the, um, I think it's, I think the ranked mentality has gotten to me where it's like, I've gotten to my rank playing safe and then I'm just like doing the same thing over and over again. And that's not helping me improve because of course it's mm -hmm. not. I'm just playing to my rank and not playing above my rank. Right. right? You always, always, okay. always try to do what an optimal Ana would do. If you mm -hmm. can't mimic it now, by practicing it, you will be able to do, even if it's just a budget abbreviated version of it, you'll be doing the right things. I got your point. Right? Okay. Whether you're bronze or top heaven, finding offensive pressure opportunities that make sense. 
um, like BAP reasonable risk, right? Yeah. You know, that's the key thing there. Um, yeah. I, I honestly think that's mostly it because everything mm -hmm. revolves around that sleep, nade, yeah. offensive shots. Yeah, because of course I don't hit. I, of course my nade accuracy isn't that high if I'm just playing for defensive nades the whole time. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Do you have any yeah. questions? No, nope, that was good. That was okay. perfect, actually. Well, I appreciate your time. Keep in yeah. touch. You have a free 30-minute review that you can use anytime. Um, excuse me. I got my numbers mixed up. It's a 